Okay, my next guest will face Vince Morales at UFC London on March the 19th. And of course, it is Nathaniel Wood on the show. Nathaniel, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, mate. I'm uh, getting hungry because I'm losing weight. But um, yeah, I'm all good. I'm glad to have a fight. That's the main thing. Yeah, absolutely. And you were supposed to fight uh, Ludwig originally. And obviously, everything that's going on in the world right now, that that fight was, was scrapped. So hopefully, we can see him back uh, in action soon. But now you have Vince Morales. What are the differences here uh, from you know, preparing for Vince versus Ludwig? I would say from watching Vince, he's more of a striker. Um, you know, I think he's sort of similar to myself in the sense where I, I think he can grapple. You know, he's obviously got a reasonable skill set. However, he seems to uh, prefer striking. So, you know, I think this is going to be definitely an exciting fight. Um, it's a better matchup for me. You know, Ludwig, obviously, I was confident going into. But I think that would have been a fight where I would just be spending 15 minutes trying to you know, stop the wrestler from shooting in. Um, so, yeah, this one's going to be an exciting fight, you know, and I, and I think it's uh, very well suited for my game, that's for sure. All right, so you, you like this matchup more than the the original one. Do you still hope down the line that you get rematched with uh, Leodvuk uh, whenever that can come to fruition? Yeah, of course. For, for me, it's just, you know, whoever the UFC want to give me. Um, you know, there's a couple of names out there that I would like to fight. But right now, obviously, I've got to work my way up the ladder. So to be honest, whoever the UFC give me, I'm just happy to compete. And, you know, I'm happy for any particular challenge. So, you know, Ludwig to me was a, a wrestler. You know, he was a national champion. He obviously posed a, a great threat in his wrestling. But I rise to the challenge. You know, it's exciting for me. I have a game plan now. Um, so now, you know, I'm fighting a guy that is well suited for me. So, you know, it's just going to be fun. and. Uh, yeah, you know, I hope we put on a show for the fans and, you know, I'm nothing but confident in uh, coming out with a victorious finish. All right. And, and you mentioned, you know, cutting weight right now. You're you're a little hungry. What What is that cut for you to get down to, to band some weight? What do you typically walk around at? Um, do, 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 do. After a fight, if I'm eating reasonable and training reasonably, I'll probably walk around at about 72, 73 kilos. And obviously I fight at 61. Point six, um, so it's quite heavy. You know, I'm not I'm not a light bantam weight, but I do diet right down. So I struggle to cut a lot of weight in the sauna. Um, I don't sweat typically as quick as other people do. So for me, I have to you know have a eight week camp at least really to get the weight down. Um, I'm always training. I'm always fit, but you know I won't be able to take short notice fights unless you know it's at catch weight or something because I just won't physically make weight. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, it's just part and parcel of the job. And, you know, I'll make sure that I make 135 pounds, no problem. And then knock this guy out. All right. Have you ever thought, you know, maybe down the line going up to featherweight? Or do you feel like, you know, bantamweight is just where you're, you're you know, going to thrive the most? I, I definitely would like to go up a weight class. Um, my coaches aren't big fans of it at the moment. Um they believe as well that at bantamweight, there's kind of a pathway for me. Whereas when you go up a weight, it's a bit like, okay, now, now where do we go from here? So, you know, as much, as tough as the weight cuts are, I always feel good on fight day. You know, I do always feel physically well. I don't ever feel drained or, you know, fatigued, let's say. So, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. The weight cuts as painful as they are, I feel fine on fight night. So I'm just going to have to suck it up, get on with it. And then maybe in the future, you know, I'll definitely go up to 145, I think. Okay. Now, the, the last time we saw you in action was all the way back at UFC 254 in Abu Dhabi. You had that, that UD loss to Casey Kenny. What did you take from, from that fight? Did, did you learn anything uh, about maybe something you can tweak, like in your training to make yourself a, you know, a better, more dangerous fighter moving forward? Definitely don't leave it to the judges because I thought, you know, I thought I won that fight. Um but since that fight, I've had nothing but injuries on my on my hand. You know, I've been out this long now because of it. So it's allowed me to work in areas that I wouldn't normally focus on. So, you know, I had no choice but to focus on my elbows, knees, kicks. And I definitely feel that the levels come up. So now that I've got my hand back, you know, I've got new weapons in my arsenal. And I definitely feel like that since that Casey Kenny fight, I'm 100% a better fighter now. So um yeah you know i look forward to to going to work and showing people on march the 19th 
And, and you fought in Abu Dhabi twice. What was that like? Did, did you enjoy being over there? I understand, you know, the time difference, you know, is, is quite drastic. What, what was that whole experience like? It's amazing. Um, honestly, the UFC literally done anything and everything for us over there. So, you know, because of COVID, we couldn't risk, you know, catching it, et cetera. So everything was delivered to your door. Um, you know, you had your own private training rooms. It really was uh, luxury, let's say. And the people in the W Hotel, you know, over in, in Abu Dhabi, uh, they're amazing. You know, really, really nice people and they couldn't do more for you. So I really enjoyed my experience. Um, however, I do like fighting in front of a, a crowd. You know, that is a bit of a weird experience when there's no fans in, in the arena. But yeah, you know, I definitely enjoyed the experience and it'll be one that I'll remember forever. So this will be your second time fighting in London, England for the, the UFC. You beat Jose Alberto Quinones uh, in London. That was a, a while ago now. How excited are you to be back, to be fighting in, in front of the fans in London? I'm so excited. Honestly, you know, the 2019 fight obviously was, you know, it's a dream come true fighting in front of my, my hometown in the O2 Arena for the UFC. Obviously, I got the win. So now that feeling, you know, that electric buzz that was in there, I know it's coming again. So, you know, I'm buzzing for it. Honestly, these next two weeks couldn't come sooner. So the quicker that we can get the fight on with and get in there, you know, the happier I'll be. So, um, yeah, these two weeks I think are going to drag and go very slow, but I can't wait for it. Does that put more pressure on you, though, fighting in London? Like, do you feel, you know, you know that added, you know, pressure to go in there and not just win, but win impressively? Uh, a slight added pressure, but pressure makes diamonds. And, you know, I do rise to it. So the pressure I feel makes me compete better. So it, it does me a favor. You know, there's, there's nothing more encouraging than having your hometown fans and friends and family screaming you on. So... Uh, you know, come fight night, it won't be just me walking in there. It will feel like I've got that whole arena in there with me. So how has Kent been thus far at Great Britain top team? Uh, I imagine that, you know, it's been great. It sounds like you're really ready to go in there uh, and, and, you know, look your best. How, how do you feel as of, you know, today? I feel great. Honestly, everyone will tell you, you know, this is my best uh, fight camp. This is my best fight camp. But this has been my best fight camp. Um, I had so much time to prepare for this fight. I think I got announced with Ludwig 14 weeks before. So, you know, my camp, everything was prepared for it. I had everything ready to go. Uh, there was no, nothing's been rushed, you know, every little detail has been covered. And now it's just remain healthy, uninjured. And as I say, these next two weeks, hopefully they go nice and smoothly. And then, you know, I'll be the fittest and the strongest that I've ever been before walking in there on fight night. So, um, yeah, you know, it has been a good camp so far. I've just got these last two weeks to get through and then uh, the fun bit. All right. And what does a win over Morales do for you in the division? Do you feel like this sets you up for, you know, a marquee fight to, to really start to crack uh, that, that top 15, top 10 and move towards a title shot eventually? I think the fight is huge for me personally, because obviously I've been out for a year and six months. So I need to come back, get a good win, and show the UFC that, you know, I'm here and I'm here to stay. So, you know, I, a, opponent aside, you know, I'm not even thinking so much about Vince. You know, I just need to come in, look good and do good um, because I've been out for so long. So, you know, once I've done that, then I'm going to start to look at, you know, who's where in the division and then start to work my way up. But right now, I just got to go in there on March 19th and beat whoever they put in front of me. The Bantamweight title is right around the corner. Jan and Sterling run it back. How do you see that going? What's your uh, pick for that? I think uh, Peter Jan will win. However, I do really want Adrian Sterling to win. You know, he's cool. I've met him before. He's a nice, really nice guy. And, uh, yeah, I do. I think it's going to be a close fight. I don't think it's going to be a one-sided fight at all. I just have a feeling that Peter Yan's going to uh, get the win. But it's MMA, so we can only wait and find out. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Did you watch uh, 272 last night? And if so, what was your thoughts on Covington and Masvidal? I haven't seen it yet. I've got to catch up. I know the results, but no, I haven't. I haven't uh, watched the fight. But I heard it was a good fight. So, uh, or fight of the night. Sorry. So. Um, yeah, you know, I definitely have to check it out. But I'm gutted that Masvidal obviously didn't get the win. 
All right. So give me your official prediction for this fight with Vince Morales. He's on a two fight win streak. He beat Luis uh, Smolka and uh, Draco Rodriguez. How ultimately do you see yourself getting your hand raised here? So I believe that I'm going to get a knockout finish, if not a knockout a TKO finish. Um, you know, I think the styles, it's going to be a pretty, pretty chaos fight. You know, I don't think there's going to be too much um, hugging going on, let's say. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to land and I don't think that he's going to be able to keep up with my shots. He's also going against someone who's a leg kicker and he's actually lost via leg kicks before. So, um, yeah, you know, you, he, he's going to have to watch out for them ones. But I'm confident. I'm confident in the fight and I'm confident that I'll get the win. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to it. And, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm grateful as well that he's taken the fight. You know, it's not it's on short notice. So, um yeah, I'm just pleased to get a match up and, you know, get this show on the road. If you're healthy, how active are you trying to stay this year? Are you trying to jump back in as soon as possible? Yeah, as active as possible. Um, obviously, as well, if I can make weight. So, you know, it's very hard to keep my weight down. It's not me, even me, you know, going out and it just naturally my weight just goes so high if I stop training. You know, after a fight, if you have a week, two weeks off, boom, before you know it, my weight's gone sky high. So, um, yeah, hopefully I could get a bit of notice, work out the dates and, you know, touch wood, there's no injuries. I can uh, get straight back in there and get three or four fights this year. All right. Can't wait to see you back in uh, the octagon. My man, it's been far too long. Again, Nathaniel Wood meets Vince Morales, March 19th, UFC London. Before I let you go, I want to give you the floor. Tell people where to follow you on social media. And if you have anyone to thank, the floor is yours. Yes, please follow me at The Prospect MMA. And yeah, just thank you to yourself, of course, for having me on today. I appreciate it.